Hey you guys, welcome back. If you guys are new, my name is Lauren and I'm a nurse that's here for all your science back skincare reviews. And today's an exciting video because we have another favorites and fails. It's the end of May. Oh my gosh, can't believe it. And I, believe it or not, this is gonna be the week that I probably will be delivering. If you didn't catch my last video, my skincare routine video, I talk a little bit more about my birth plan. Hopefully it goes as expected, but you can never predict how birth is gonna go. Honestly, however the baby comes out, the safest is most important to me being a NICU nurse I'm scared to death of all the little things that go, can go wrong but um fingers crossed <laughs> it's gonna go well and by the time I'm posting this he may even be here if not I may even be in the hospital the day of so follow me on Instagram if you're not following me over there I I tend to be a little bit more private with my family things I don't post a ton of family pictures but maybe I'll post a picture or two so I, I'll try and keep you posted as much as I can but we're very excited over here right now as I'm filming I am 37 weeks oh my gosh two weeks from Monday as I'm filming this he will be here. It's absolutely insane. We've been trying to soak up this time with just the girls at home, so we've been spending a lot of time outside, which is why this Favorites and Fails has a lot of sunscreen picks in here. I've been testing out a lot of sunscreens recently. I do have a couple fails at the end of the video that you guys will hear about, but also some favorites as well. Some moisturizers that we'll talk about. Also, like I said, some SPFs. This new creamy bronzer that I've been loving. I rediscovered. It's so great. Um, and a foundation that I've been re-reaching for as well. So lots of fun things. Oh, and a skincare tool that I've never talked about. So that is another fun addition to this video. So lots of fun things. So we'll just go ahead and get right into it. So my first new favorite is from Garnier. And one of you guys brought it to my attention that Garnier is now cruelty free. And everybody has been talking about these serum SPFs. So I really wanted to give them a try. I did pick up all three and this by far has been my favorite. I only, we'll talk about another one in the end of the video. Video. but this has definitely been my favorite this is the pore perfecting serum cream the canna B. this is fragrance free it's a broad spectrum SPF of 30 there's cannabis sativa oil in here and there's niacinamide so I love anytime you're using a sunscreen and you get an added bonus of an effective skincare ingredient like niacinamide so I thought that was great I was really excited to give this a go and I have really been liking how this applies it's really lightweight it's fast absorbing it feels like nothing on the face it's really like smoothing too it wears well underneath makeup on its own it's great too because there's absolutely no white cast that is a big benefit of using a full chemical sunscreen you're most likely not going to get a cast from it and this leaves a nice little sheen to the skin it's not too dewy and it's moisturizing I love an SPF where I'm getting an added bonus of extra moisture so I really appreciate that it has a strong chemical sunscreen smell not as bad as the other one I tried but it's it's pretty strong so just keep that in mind but i love the way it wears i love that it feels lightweight and that it's great under makeup or over makeup as well it's really nice now the only thing keep in mind i feel like these serum spfs can be a little bit misleading in the marketing because it being called a serum it kind of implies that you should apply this before your moisturizer but i always like to apply my spf as the last step so just be aware of that it is a serum cream i think they're just talking about the consistency it's a little light it's serum like but yeah I would apply this um, as your last step if you're wearing it underneath foundation you don't really have a choice there but just make sure you have enough dry down time before you apply your foundation but I really like how this feels on the skin it's not heavy it's thin and you're getting an SPF of 30 coverage so yeah this has been a favorite this month so let's talk about that skincare tool that I just mentioned so this is by the brand first this is their new derma planing tool first of its kind from them I was really excited to see this because I've been eyeing one from Sephora that is, I'm embarrassed to say, $75. I am so glad I didn't spend the money on it. <laughs> Verse did send this out to me. There's so many other cheaper ones. This one is $20, I believe, on Verse website. You can get ones for like 8 bucks on Amazon, if not cheaper. But what I like about this one is the fact that you have so much more surface area. It's super long, and I have really been enjoying this. I've only done this once so far. I don't think you should overdo it with dermaplaning, or let's be honest, dermaplaning is just literally shaving your face. Dermaplaning is a fancy word for 
getting the hair, getting the peach fuzz off your face, but you'll get some nice skin benefits from dermaplaning as well. So it essentially removes the dead skin off the top layer of your skin. That top layer is called the stratum corneum, and that is where all these dead skin cells sit. And when you chemically exfoliate, that is essentially doing the same thing, revealing brighter, hopefully younger looking skin. This will not remove your wrinkles by any means, obviously, but it will make your skin look less dull and more bright by removing that surface layer of dead skin cells, maybe even improve your texture a little bit as well. It can also help your skincare products absorb a little better. Now with that said, do not reach for any chemical exfoliants at least three days after using a dermaplaning tool. Your skin is going to be exposed, it's going to be extra sensitive. I like it because it makes my skin just look overall more smooth, it makes my makeup go on easier, and it just gives that less rough appearance to your skin it makes it look just baby soft and it makes it feel baby soft so i love shaving my face or dermaplaning and i've been loving this tool like i said i only used it once but it's really easy to use it has a soft rubbery feel to it so it's easy to grasp um maybe i'll do some tips in a future video but just make sure the biggest thing make sure you're going down with it hold your skin taut and turn this to a 45 degree angle at first i was doing it completely wrong and i was holding it perpendicular to my skin and it has to be at a pretty small angle for you to get that close shave essentially it does not hurt um it just makes your skin feel super smooth afterwards i cannot do this on a dry face i've heard people recommend it i need some slip to my skin or else this pulls my skin it tugs and i get irritation when i do that so i like to use this after i cleanse when i still have maybe even a little bit of like an oil cleanser on my face yeah, I need some slip. But yeah, I've really been loving this. I love that this tool is extra long for more surface area. I think that's why I didn't stick with it before because the blades I got on Amazon were super tiny and it was just really time consuming, but this was really quick when I used it. So yeah, I've really been enjoying it. And then skipping over to some makeup, the Merit Terracotta Cheek Color. This is beautiful. This is essentially, you can use this as a cheek color like it implies, or an all over bronzer and that's how I've been enjoying using this. So I'll apply this before sunscreen and it gives this creamy just sun kissed glow. It goes on really seamlessly on the skin. It's easy to blend in and I love the packaging. I love that you can just, I do like just a couple strips on my cheeks, on my forehead, blend it in with my fingertips and you get this really pretty glow that looks really natural. It has a nice warm undertone making it look really natural. I do have some powder on but let's say even on top of the powder it goes on pretty easily so you get a little bit of a bronzy sheen there and then just rub it in with your fingertips and it applies so easily it's just one of those running out the door products that just makes such a difference and it just gives life to your skin i'm all about quick and easy products that help me <laughs> run out the door so this has been great. So that is by Merit and that is the Terracotta Cheek Color. Speaking of products that help me run out the door really quick, the It Cosmetics CC Illumination is one of my hands down favorite foundations. I love all their CC formulas. I have a video from way back when comparing all the formulas, but I've been loving the Illumination version because it's making my skin look really hydrated. It actually physically hydrates my skin as well. There's so many nice hydrators in here. There's of course silicone in here. There's avocado oil in here. Way up on the ingredient list though, we have snail filtrate extract, which you guys know I love me some snail in skincare. So I don't know if that's why I get that smoothness, that moisturization factor, but I love this foundation so much. It really smooths out the pores. It gives that hydrated look. There is a little bit of a shimmer to it up close from far away. It just gives an overall dewy appearance. I am wearing it today, just so you know. I do have a little bit of highlight. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star highlight on, but I love that sheen that it gives. It makes your skin just look healthy and they, you spend some time on your skincare the night before never looks dry i know a lot of people say that it cc's feel really heavy on their skin with me i think it's because my skin is so dry it craves that extra moisture but maybe if you're oily or even more normal you might not be a fan of these but I love the CC creams and the illumination I've especially been reaching for so far. Leave your comments down below if you're an It's CC stan. <laughs> I'd love to hear from you guys um, and let me know what your favorite formula is. 
the CC illumination is an SPF of 50. I believe the matte is only an SPF of 40. So I love that you're getting an SPF of 50 coverage. I still wear SPF underneath of this because I know I'm not applying enough to get that sp full SPF 50 coverage. But I love this formula. I love the sheen that it gives. I love the coverage. Oh my gosh, does this cover everything? I don't have to reach for an extra concealer when I'm wearing this. It's an all around great product. I love this in the summer and the winter time. But yeah, I've been reaching for this a lot more recently. I obviously need a new tube running low here so I need to restock on this but I wanted to mention this because this has been a staple recently and this Vita Liberati product I talked about in my underrated products video wanted to mention it again because I've been reaching for it more and more with me just going out into the Sun again just starting to expose my legs again I have some pretty bad veins right now being pregnant I lots of purple going on in my legs um, this has really been great for evening out my tone in my legs and I love just applying a little dab with a moisturizer and it really has a nice color to it not too cool toned not too warm toned but it gives coverage too which I love I'm sorry you guys just saw this in my underrated video but I it's just the reality I've been reaching for this a lot so I had to include that even tan it's great I love this product so yeah it's great on its own and with a moisturizer it takes some effort to rub in on its own because it's it does have such a quick dry down time, which is great if you want a non-transferable body bronzer. But if I'm just running out the door, I like to apply a little bit with my moisturizer and it just gives a quick all over glow. This is great, one of my favorite body bronzers. And then my moisturizer for the month has been this one by Verse. This is the Advanced Night Cream, the Recovery Mode Night Cream. This has fermented purple tea, green coffee, and microalgae in here. There's also squalene, marula oil, so great moisturizers. I have been waking up with the smoothest, I don't wanna say tight because it's not gonna miraculously smooth out your wrinkles by any means but I can tell there's something to the added elasticity that this is doing for my skin it just feels overall more bouncy this is awesome I love it I love the packaging I love that it has this little pump it dispenses the perfect amount of product one pump and I get an all-over application for my face it's so nice I did not think it was gonna beat out my skin soap moisturizer by verse you guys know I've raved about that for the last two years I have to say that one does have a better feel on application that one dries down to this smooth silky feel this one dries down to a little bit of a tacky feel but once you get over the tackiness, you'll you'll just love the next day results. My skin just feels, like I said, so bouncy and moisturized. But yeah, that initial tackiness, I'm like, oh no, oh no, I'm not going to like this. <laughs> I'm not a big fan on the tackiness when it comes to skincare products. But it does eventually dissipate. It goes away. And the next day, your skin feels extra moisturized. I've really been liking this. Still love that skin soak moisturizer but that's in a jar the packaging isn't as great it seems like you're getting a little bit more benefits with this as well it has all these added antioxidants in here um so it's just a nice night cream i really like this and then next up ole henriksen has this new cold plunge pore remedy moisturizer i almost didn't include this because it's not a favorite for my skin in particular but i always like to keep the options open for you guys because i obviously i know all of you guys out there do not have the same skin type as me but i feel like this would be great for somebody with oily skin and non-sensitive skin you definitely can't be sensitive because there is fragrance in here and it does have a strong like minty smell to it that could be off-putting to I know a lot of people but I thought this was great because it does have salicylic acid in here so if you're oily if you're acne prone this would be a great prevention moisturizer I would not apply this if you have open acne sores that minty fragrance may be triggering and also there's some extra extracts in here that could be triggering but it does have green tea in here so great for brightening the skin and the texture is really nice and i do feel like i got some decent moisture from this so it's almost like a gel to cream and when you apply to the skin you get this immediate cooling sensation that's kind of fun to use you get a little bit of a tingle but it's a pick me up for the skin if you like that that refreshing moisturizer feel in the morning i do feel like you would like this and I like the incorporation of the salicylic in here it feels silky on the skin not enough moisture for my dry skin but like I said if you're on the oily side and if you just maybe want a moisturizer with some extra salicylic in it I feel like this would be a good option I did notice a slight amount of redness when I did use this so like I said this could be triggering for some people so just 
maybe use this with caution but I just wanted to mention it because I do feel like it this could be great for a select few um, people but let me know if you guys have tried this if you're interested in this Ole Hendrickson did send this out in PR um, so yeah I wanted to mention it to my oily skin friends out there if you're looking for a lightweight refreshing moisturizer and the next product good old faithful here the dermatology tinted moisturizer SPF of 46 I've been loving this you guys know I've always raved about this, but I've been re-reaching for it because of one of the sunscreens that just gets you at the door. It gives a little bit of blur to your skin. It has a little bit of a tint to it, so it gives an even finish to your skin. SPF of 46, a combo of mineral and chemical sunscreen. Everybody raves about this for good reason. I've heard Dr. Dre talk about this, Penn Smith Skincare. $22, you cannot beat it. So many benefits to this. Second ingredient in here is silicone. You're gonna get that nice smoothness from the silicone, also the moisturization. You're getting the niacinamide in here. But overall, I just love how this feels on my skin. I love the glow it gives my skin. It's amazing. You guys know I am an affiliate with them. Anytime you use an affiliate link, you automatically get the 20% off. Just click the link and it'll be applied automatically at checkout. But yeah, you guys know I love the sunscreen. Um, it's just great. All right, and last but not least, my two fails for the month. The first one being, unfortunately, by Sunday Riley the lighthearted broad spectrum SPF of 30. This feels so heavy in, on the skin. It takes forever to rub in. And once it does rub in, it leaves an odd pinky cast to the skin. I feel like this would only work for somebody that's super pale, fair skinned with a pinky undertone. You'll see me apply this in that hits and miss video and you can see the contrast be between the warmth in my neck to this pinky tone to my face after applying this. And I just hated that this was so thick. It almost makes me want to under apply it because it's so heavy going onto the skin. And that's a big no-no, obviously, with sunscreen. You want to over-apply it. So yeah, unfortunately, this was a big fail for me. I won't go too much into it because I know you guys have heard me talk about this nut hits and misses video, but I just wanted to mention it because it was a fail for the month. The other one that I haven't talked about just yet is the Garnier Replumping Serum Cream. The I don't know what they're going for with the name here. The Hyalu... It's really hard to pronounce. Hyalu Melon. I guess just a, a hyphenated hyaluronic acid with melon watermelon because they have the watermelon extract in here. I don't know. But anyway, I did not like this. This pills and flakes on the skin. It feels heavy. It feels like a mask on the skin. I could not wait to wash this off. I was trying to compare the ingredients between these two and to figure out why I did not like this. And I love this one so much. This one does have hyaluronic acid in here. Maybe that's why. Maybe their form of hyaluronic acid is just extra pilly and flaky on the skin. I don't know and it gave an immediate burn to my skin uh, I didn't notice any redness or irritation but I just felt that like sting so I don't know if that was the watermelon extract there's fragrance in here um, it could be anything really it could be the chemical filters in here too but although yeah these have the same chemical filters I just did not enjoy the feel of this I used it with makeup on its own and both times it pilled and flaked and felt heavy it does give an immediate like nice sheen to the skin it gives a nice like dewiness but after it dries down whoo that mask feeling I was not a fan of I wanted to get this off my face almost immediately so if you're gonna pick up one of these Garnier Green Labs I would check out the the cannabis one or the cannabis one over this high melon yeah, not a fan of this one. I did pick up the brightening one. I think it has a vitamin C derivative in that one. Look for that review in a future video. I just did not have time to try that out as well. So um, that is still in the box. Maybe I'll do a full sunscreen review because I've been trying all these sunscreens and I'll do a full sunscreen roundup. Let me know if you guys would be into that. It's been a while for a sunscreen video. So I'd love to do that. I also wanted to try out the new Make Prem formula. One of you guys pointed out, I thought I had the new formula, but apparently I have the new, I think the new fragrance free formula, but there's a new mineral formula of the Make Prem sunscreen as well. So I already placed my order on Amazon. I'm waiting for that to come. I'll be trying that out so look for that in a future video but this concludes this video I hope you guys enjoyed this I appreciate you guys so much for watching stick around follow me on Instagram to see my birth journey I don't know how much I'll be sharing but maybe you'll see some pictures on there um, thank you guys again for being so supportive and kind you guys are the best and I hope you're enjoying your summer especially if you're on the Northeast coast like I am it's just such a nice change to get some warmth around here and be out in the Sun but thank you guys again and I will See you guys in my next video. Bye guys.